In 2009, James Cameron released a groundbreaking film that would go on to become one of the highest grossing films of all time. The film was Avatar, and it told the story of a paraplegic marine dispatched to the moon Pandora on a unique mission. However, he becomes torn between following his orders and protecting the world he feels is his home. So stay tuned and don't go away, because we're about to reveal why Avatar 2 is a bad idea. First up, does Avatar really need a sequel? Let's take a look. James Cameron has plans to turn Avatar into a full-fledged franchise, with as many as four sequels in the works despite a lack of time and audience interest. Despite the original Avatar film's success, some argue that audiences have long forgotten about the film and that there's little audience interest in wanting to see a sequel, let alone four. So according to the naysayers, it makes little sense to release a sequel. Cameron himself is generally regarded as one of the greatest filmmakers in the world. He is responsible for films like Aliens, The Terminator, T2 Judgment Day, and Titanic, just to name a few. The film remains at the top of the list as one of the most well-known creative films in cinema history. But for some, it's hard to say whether or not Avatar is a good film or a bad film. Like many films, there are people who love it and folks who hate it. Fans of the film were happy to see it once or twice in IMAX and then never watched it again. The film sold around 30 million DVD copies worldwide and that's proof of just how popular it was. But despite being popular at the time, interest waned fairly quickly and when it dropped on Disney+, Plus, all you heard were crickets. It didn't produce any type of buzz at all. Because of this clear lack of public interest, it sort of makes you scratch your head and wonder why Cameron would want to push through the sequel. Making Avatar 2 seems like a really weird thing to do right now. Why? Because nobody needs a sequel to Avatar. Next up, is turning big budget movies into theme park rides becoming more of a thing? You're about to find out. Maybe the reason Cameron wants to crank out an Avatar sequel is that he wants to get into the theme park ride business. In recent years, there's been much discussion surrounding big budget Hollywood blockbusters being turned into theme park rides. And let's be honest, if there is a film or franchise that would make for a totally awesome theme park, it is Avatar. And we have mentioned Cameron isn't only planning Avatar 2, but Avatar 3, 4, and 5. Thousands of films that are loved by millions of people can't get a single sequel made, but do perfectly well as standalone films. Perhaps a better question to ask then is, does cinema really need four new versions of the story told in the original film? Many people see the answer as an obvious one. Of course not. However, because the original film made enough money to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool, it will be getting a sequel. You have to remember that when it comes to Hollywood, it's often not about the story. It's all about the Benjamins, and by Benjamins we mean cold hard cash. For Cameron though, making more Avatar films is not all about the Benjamins. Avatar is a passion project for Cameron. For him, it's all about the story, but for studio executives, it's all about that cheddar. Avatar means a lot to Cameron. In fact, he first brought the project to life in 1994 with an 80-page treatment that was meant to come out immediately after Titanic, but the filmmaking technology at the time wasn't advanced enough for Cameron to pull it off. In other words, Cameron is literally ahead of his time. The original Avatar was a massive undertaking that used groundbreaking special effects and new tech that forever changed the art of filmmaking. Up next, did Cameron's vision for the first Avatar pay off? The answer is yes and no. While Cameron's passion, innovation, and huge financial expenses turned the first Avatar film into a hit in terms of dollars and cents, it also failed on another front. Cameron's heart and soul that was poured into Avatar doesn't translate to the big screen, and it failed to capture the hearts and minds of those who filled the seats. Audiences were certainly impressed with the special effects. In fact, many were downright blown away, and rightfully so. However, many felt that there was nothing at all original about the story. Critics argue that the original film was a very skilled technological demonstration of Cameron's prowess as a director, but 13 years later, most audiences have largely forgotten about the film. Why? Because it's the story itself that captures people's hearts and minds, not the special effects, but the story. VFX tech has advanced a great deal since 2009, and there are thousands of other 
movies currently pushing those same limits. So it's difficult to conceive of how Cameron plans to break barriers with a sequel. Critics further argue that the only reason the first Avatar film worked is that it appealed to the largest number of people possible. And that's also why it's forgettable. For these reasons, a sequel is a terrible idea. The last thing Avatar needs is a complete retelling of everything that happened in the first film. A sequel certainly won't improve the original film, and it could be seen as somewhat of a joke by fans. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're about to bring you the latest Avatar news. Next up, is it possible that critics are wrong about Avatar 2? You're about to find out. You've just heard what all the naysayers had to say about the possible release of Avatar 2. However, it's clear that not everyone agrees with them. In fact, scores of fans of the original film are really excited about seeing Avatar 2. In September of 2020, Cameron said that he and his crew were 100% complete on Avatar 2 and almost 95% done on Avatar 3. And on March 3rd, 2022, 20th Century Studios President Steve Asbell was given an interview and was asked if Avatar 2 would premiere in theaters in 2022. Asbell replied confidently saying, yes it will. In July of 2021, concept artist Dylan Cole shared some concept art on his Instagram account, which consisted of four slides. The first revealed a violent storm at sea on Pandora, with three of the images showing a Navi riding a sea creature through huge waves. Sam Worthington will reprise his role as the human-turned Navi, Jake Sully, and Zoe Saldana will return as Navi princess, Neytiri. Sci-fi icon Sigourney Weaver will return as an entirely different character since her role as Dr. Augustine died in the first Avatar film, although no details about a new character have been revealed. Up next, who else can we expect to see in Avatar 2? Let's take a look. Famed Titanic actor Kate Winslet will play the role of Ronal in the Avatar sequels. This will be Winslet and Cameron's first collaboration together since the 1997 blockbuster Titanic. Game of Thrones actor Una Chaplin and Fear of the Walking Dead star Cliff Curtis will also be joining the sequels. And actor Eddie Falco, who played in Nurse Jackie and The Sopranos, is playing a new character named General Ardmore. It looks like Fast and the Furious star Vin Diesel is coming on board as well, alongside Jemaine Clement, who will play marine biologist Dr. Ian Garvin. Apparently, Dr. Ian Garnon is one of Cameron's favorite characters in the sequel. Also, Star Trek Discovery star Michelle Yeoh joins the cast as scientist Karina Moog. Executive producer John Landau shared photos of Yao on set in March of 2021, and it appears as though she'll have a spot in Avatar 3 as well. In a recent interview, Yo talked about getting involved in the highly anticipated sequel and hinted at her future appearances in other Avatar sequels. Yo said, So yes, I'm in the Avatar sequels, and as you know, we can't really talk very much about it. But it's James Cameron, come on! I would be the tea lady for James Cameron. We shot for a few weeks, and I was so impressed with the work he's done, the work that he's doing, and the energy. He's a genius. He's a walking genius. And I really, really enjoyed the experience, and I can't wait to go back soon, I hope. Finally, did one of Avatar 2's biggest stars cry after watching the first 20 minutes of the film? In Hollywood, it's fairly commonplace for those closely involved with big-budget productions to have the privilege of seeing screenings of the film they work on, long before they're ever released to the public. Zoe Saldana cried after watching the first 20 minutes of Avatar 2 in a secret private screening. Saldana said, I can get choked up just talking about it. I was able to see just 20 minutes of the second installment, right before the year ended last year, and I was speechless. I was moved to tears. Jim was finally able to crack that challenge. That whole thing that you can't imitate water virtually through performance capture. Saldana continued, That was just a challenge that he had taken upon himself, and it took him years, and he did it. He did it. It's powerful. It's compelling. That's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching.